Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video that I actually really enjoy watching other people's versions of and this is the 50 random facts tag. So basically I'm just going to fire 50 random facts about me at you. Some of them you might know, some of them you probably won't. Some of them will be really short and snappy and some of them, some of them will require a little bit of explanation. So let's get straight into it because I don't want this to be 20 years long. I have them all written on my phone. This has taken me months to compile. You try and put together 50 random facts about yourself that are some way interesting and let me know how long it takes you. It took me a long time. Number one, I have never read any of the Harry Potter books or seen any of the films. I know, I know that makes me an alien. My favorite place in the world is America. I still have my nose pierced, but I never wear anything in it. I quit smoking three years ago, three years and three months ago, actually, to be specific. And my moods still haven't gotten back to normal. I still wear my retainer at night. I love The Prodigy. My fake laugh is ridiculously bad. Anytime I ever try to use it, people are like, it's like, <laughs> see, I told you. My favorite animal in the entire world is the elephant. The trait that I detest most in another person is meanness, specifically meanness with money. People being, people being really, really tight just really, really bothers me. And bullies, I hate bullies too. I have never tasted mushrooms. I'm afraid to eat rhubarb because when I was a child, my aunt told me that the very first time you eat rhubarb, you will have diarrhea for about two days afterwards. So ever since then, I refuse to eat rhubarb. <laughs> I have had eight of my teeth removed. All of my wisdom teeth were removed last year and I had four taken out to make room for covering with braces. I have a freckle at the tip of my nose and it never goes away and whenever I point it out to someone I go, bread makes me fart. Whenever I get the hiccups I get scared that they'll be there forever because I once saw a documentary of someone who hiccups like all the time as in they have hiccups for all of their life. I went to Trinity College for one year. When I was being toilet or potty trained as a child, my mother took me down to the local shop, just a small news agents, and I scurried off. And then when it was time to go, she called my name and I ran out to the car and I said, Mommy, I did a poo. And she was like, where did you do a poo? And I was like, in the shop. Um, I had gone in behind the refrigerator in the butcher section and I had done my business in there and I was so proud. <laughs> I am a spelling and grammar freak. I hate spelling mistakes. They drive me absolutely scatty. When I was a kid, I wrote a letter to our then president of Ireland and she wrote back to me and she sent my family a Christmas card that year. I very rarely use a knife when I'm eating. I always use the side of the fork to cut whatever I can, but I obviously use a knife when I absolutely have to. The next few are kind of sleep related facts because I'm quite a freak in the sack. Sometimes I'll be lying in bed and my hands will be like literally straight up in the air like that. Normal? No. I also talk in my sleep. On occasion I have turned to my other half and said, Dunn stores is better. You can be the green power ranger. And you're such a little cutie. And I'm known to point at the ceiling and say, there's Mary, look at Mary, we're not alone. I would hate to be asleep beside me because I would freak the shit out of myself. I also grind my teeth in my sleep. I know this is often joked about. I have a good side and a bad side to my face. My left side is my good side. I'm going to demonstrate and show you that I actually look like a totally different person. This is my good side. And this is my bad side. My mouth is a totally different shape and my nose is too. And I never take pictures from this side. Ever. I bought an expensive bicycle over two years ago and I have only cycled it once. I had braces, train tracks for two years. I have deceptively long legs. Almost every pair of trousers that I try on that would fit me in the waist are too short in the leg. I take my tea, half tea, half milk and two sugars. So basically I take my tea as sugary milk. I could not live without cheese. It's my favourite food ever. I passed my driving test at the tender age of 17 and that is probably one of my biggest achievements. I attended a co-educational secondary school and I was the only girl who wore a skirt. What does that say about me? If someone handed me a coupon for any plastic surgery that I want, but only one procedure, I would definitely have my schnoz done. What would you have done? If, you, if someone handed you a coupon for any plastic surgery, any one procedure, would you use it? Or if you would use it, 
what would you have done? For some reason, people always assume that I'm an only child, but I'm actually the eldest of four. I used to run quite a bit when I was quite a bit younger, and I was out for a run. I used to do a circuit, and this one time, three foreign men tried to pull me into their car, which was kind of scary. I'm haunted. Now, <laughs> people are probably like, <laughs> but I have to explain this one. This all came to light when I was in secondary school. When, okay, so I had two really close friends in secondary school, Aideen and Fiona. And I remember I used to have them at sleepover, like they'd sleep over my house every so often. And it's only when Fiona mentioned to Aideen that she'd seen something, Aideen was like, oh my God, I saw something the exact same. I'll explain it to you now. So it was the morning after a sleepover and I can't remember which was which. I think it was, Aideen said it. Um, I was sleeping on the floor in a sleeping bag and she was sleeping in my bed in my room. And she said she sat up in the middle of the night and looked over at me and she could see me hunched over texting. And I had just got my first phone or whatever so she was like oh that's Laura just as her, at her usual thing texting. But when she took a second look I was actually still asleep but there was something leaning over me like this that was like rocking back and forth just a black shadow and she thought that was pretty creepy and it probably is pretty creepy. And then when she mentioned to Fiona, Fiona mentioned that like a year previously when she'd stayed in my house, she had seen a black shadow lying over me completely parallel to me, floating. But she'd assumed she was just dreaming or had a nightmare or whatever, but I think that's pretty creepy. But, but I've never felt overly scared by it. Does anyone have any idea what this might be or am I crazy? I am extremely protective over my food. If I offer you sweets and you take me up on the offer, I'm secretly like, my death row dinner would be sausages, eggs, beans, and chips. What would your death row dinner be? I used to fancy Marilyn Manson. My boyfriend says I have the smelliest farts he has ever experienced, ever in his whole life. <laughs> when I was a child, when someone would say to me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would say I want to be a mermaid. Still clinging on to that dream? I hate the feel of newspaper and of cotton wool. Can't touch it. And certain like, Certain wool fabrics in clothes. No, can't touch them. I like to leave just one square of toilet paper on the roll so that I don't have to change it and the next person does. I have never tasted lettuce. I have a very eclectic taste in music. I like everything from Frank Sinatra to rock to indie to electro, like Skrillex. I like all sorts of music. But funnily enough, I'm not very good with the like new stuff that's coming out at the moment, more older stuff. I also have a soft spot for gangster rap. If my boyfriend could give you one piece of advice about me, it would be to never call my bluff because I am the most stubborn person ever. I will never ever get married and you can hold me to that. And the final fact is whenever I think of New York City, I tear up because I loved it there so much. It's my favorite place in the entire world. So I hope this 50 random tacts wasn't 50 random tacts, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I hope this 50 random facts tag video wasn't too boring. Let me know any random facts about you that would be interesting in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.